is the news at four. First, the highlights. Lagos State Government inaugurates removal of abandoned vehicles. Parks Monitoring Committee. UNICEF identifies vaccine hesitancy as a hindrance to immunization. On the foreign scene, Philippine President wants China against acts of war. In sport, Ronaldo in tears as Al Nasser loses Saudi King's Cup to Al Hilal. Now the details, I am Taiwo Barua. In order to support traffic management personnel, improve traffic flow across the state and ensure orderliness at the motor parks, the Lagos State Government has reconstituted and inaugurated removal of abandoned vehicles and parks monitoring committees. Speaking during the inauguration, the special advisor to the Governor on Transportation, Shola Giwa, stated the removal of abandoned vehicles committee's primary responsibility as the prompts removal of all abandoned and disused vehicles, obstructing traffic and posing security threat to the metropolis. Giwa said the park monitoring committee's responsibility is to ensure orderliness across parks, prevent use and sale of alcohol and other related substances in the park, and clamp down on illegal parks and illegal commuter operations, amongst others. He reiterated the state government's resolve to ensure the free flow of traffic and the safety of lives and property in accordance with the transport sector reform law, TSRL 2018. On his part, the Permanent Secretary, Ola Ali Musa, urged committee members to adhere strictly to the rules and regulations guiding their operations, assuring them that all necessary tools to enhance their performance would be provided. He enjoined members of the public to cooperate with the committee while discharging their responsibility, saying that any misconduct by committee members should be reported to the ministry's complaint numbers on 090 or 090 the Lagos State Domestic, Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, has made a call to schools to encourage more boys to be members of a King's Club of the Lagos DSVA to become part of the change for taking SGBV cases to the barest minimum in the state. The Executive Secretary, DSVA, Titilala Vaibadini, said the agency is catching them young through the curated initiative. The program covers child rights, sexual and reproductive health and rights, gender-based violence, gender equality, uh, great tenacity and resilience, and more. The Latif Jacundi Leadership Academy, LJLA, has recorded a high turnout for its 2024-2025 court applications. A total of 5,517 registrations were received reflecting the growing interest in leadership and public service among young Nigerians. The second stage, a computer-based aptitude test, CBT, offered flexibility to candidates by allowing them to choose between taking the test physically at the JKK house on Ikurud Road, Lagos, or virtually from the comfort of their homes. Following the CBT, successful candidate will proceed to the next stage which improves a written communication, which is essay test. And this phase will evaluate applicants' writing skills and their understanding of leadership and nation building, essential qualities for the future leaders the academy aims to groom. The General Hospital Shomolu has called on nurses in Lagos State to raise the bar of excellence to deliver quality health care services to patients, just as it organized free medical outreach for residents in marking the 2024 Nurses Week was the theme. One, our nurses, our future, the economic power of care. The apex nurse of the hospital, Philomena Iyato White, made the call during a two-day event organized to celebrate the year 2024 Nurses Week at the facility noting that nurses are precious gifts to humanity. 
According to her, nurses restore patients to life through their caring nature and endowed with the ability to restore health even when all hope is lost. And joining nurses at the General Hospital Shobodu to deliver excellent services required for health stability, White advised them to raise the bar in their profession by being good counsellors, educators and caregivers such that their actions will serve as a good testimony for the hospital. Now to the rest of the stories, vaccine hesitancy has been identified as a major hindrance to vaccination in Nigeria, which has played a vital role in reducing the number of those vaccinated globally as the nation records over 2 million zero-dose children. The chief of health, UNICEF Nigeria, Eduardo Salade, made the indication during a media dialogue on vaccines and immunization held in Kano. Eduardo explained that in Nigeria today, there are more health services, functional health care facilities, and availability of vaccines. He urged the media and relevant stakeholders to work together to address rumors and misinformation surrounding vaccination. The managing director, Nigerian Film Corporation, who doubles as UNICEF champion Ali Nuhu, urged influencers to use their skits and videos in English, Hausa and Pigeon to educate people on the importance of vaccination. River State Governor Siminalai Fubara has said his administration will continue to prioritize the interest of the people of the state. Fubara stated this during the praise night organized by the state government to mark his first year in office in Portacut. The governor, who was represented by his deputy Ngozi Odu, called for the support of the people in moving the state forward, urging the people to contribute their quota to assist the administration in achieving its vision of advancing the fortunes of the state. The event featured praise and worship songs in a precision to guard for the first year of Fubara. In foreign news now, Philippine President Ferdinando Maca Jr. has warned China not to cross a red line in the South China Sea, where a standoff between the countries continues to escalate. Marcos, while speaking at a security forum in Singapore attended by defense chiefs from around the world, including the United States, said the region remained a main focus for Washington and that the U.S. was only secure if Asia was too. In recent months, the long-standing dispute between China and the Philippines over territory in South China Sea has sharpened into aggressive clashes. Addressing a room full of delegates, mostly from Asia, Marcus underscored the U.S. commitment to the Indo-Pacific region, which he said remained their priority despite the Ukraine and Gaza conflicts. The U.S. and China have also signaled they are keen on improving communications to avoid conflicts. In sport now, Cristiano Ronaldo was in floods of tears after his own Nazi side lost the King's Cup final to Al-Hilal on penalties extending his Saudi Arabian trophy drought. The Portuguese superstar, whose arrival last year unleashed a flood of top players to the oil-funded Saudi Pro League slumped to the ground as Al-Hilal celebrated. In a tempestuous match that saw three red cards, including one for our Nazi's ex-Arsenal goalkeeper David Ospina. Ayman Yahya scored in the 88 minutes to cancel out al Ilal's early strike through Alexander Mitrovic. Al Nasser, who were second in the league behind Al Hilal and lost to the same team in the Super Cup, miss out once again despite the prolific Ronaldo who scored a Pro League record 35 goals. And that's it on the news at four. But just before we go, speed thrills but kills. Please do not drive beyond specified speed limit. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X. 
Traffic Radio 961 is the Bram Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube at Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website at trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that's the song Lu administration injected 100 high medium capacity buses for standard routes? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. To end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. In order to support traffic management personnel, improve traffic flow across the state and ensure orderliness at motor parks, the Lagos State Government has reconstituted and inaugurated a removal of abandoned vehicles and park monitoring committees. Vaccine hesitancy has been identified as a major hindrance to vaccination in Nigeria, which has played a vital role in reducing the number of those vaccinated globally as the nation records over 2 million zero-dose children. We also told you that Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has warned China not to cross a red line in the South China Sea, where a standoff between the two countries continues to escalate. In sport, Cristiano Ronaldo was in flood of tears after his Al Nasser side lost the King's Cup final to Al Hilal on penalties, extending his Saudi Arabian trophy drought. For contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast compiled by Adisua Ejoyoka. I am Taiwo Barwa. Thank you for listening. Good afternoon.